Hi Nostalgic Home Cooks! Today I'm in the kitchen making biscuits. These biscuits are soft, buttery, and delicately flaky. They're great to accompany savory dishes, but my favorite way to serve them is sliced and filled as a rustic strawberry shortcake. These biscuits are beautifully golden on the outside and soft and buttery on the inside, with a ton of flaky layers to pull apart and melt in your mouth. So let's get into the kitchen. This is how I make old-fashioned buttermilk biscuits. I'm going to start off with my dry ingredients. In a large bowl, I have four cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of white sugar. I'm going to give this a quick stir to evenly distribute the dry ingredients together. I've already cut into small cubes one cup of fridge cold unsalted butter. Add these to the dry mixture a few handfuls at a time. Dust them in the dry ingredients and then add in the rest. That way the butter doesn't clump back together. Now I need to cut in my butter until I have a mixture that resembles a coarse meal. To do this, you can either use a pastry blender or you can just rub the butter and flour together between your fingertips, just breaking up the butter into smaller bits with the dry ingredients. As you can see here, I've chosen to go with the latter method, which is a little messier, but I think a little more fun. Now to bring the dough together. I'm going to add in two cups of buttermilk. The baking powder is going to activate right away and start working to puff up the dough as soon as it gets mixed into the liquid. And the baking soda is going to activate as soon as it's mixed with the acid in the buttermilk. So I'm going to work quickly to get my biscuits into the oven. I know buttermilk isn't always a staple in everyone's kitchen, so if you want to make these biscuits and don't have any buttermilk in the fridge, you can substitute it with the same amount of milk mixed with vinegar or lemon juice, or you can thin down some plain yogurt with milk. To make my biscuits delicate and light, I need to work my dough as little as possible. That means instead of kneading the dough like I would for bread, I'm just going to squish and squeeze my dough until it holds together. To get those flaky layers, I'm going to fold my dough a few times onto itself to sort of laminate the dough and butter layers. Flour the dough to prevent any stickiness and pat the dough out to about one to one and a half inch thickness. Now all that's left is to shape my biscuits. So you can use a biscuit cutter, a large cookie cutter, or an upturned cup like I'm doing here. Keep cutting out the little dough discs as close together as possible. Gather the remaining dough together and continue cutting until all of the dough is used up. Place the biscuits on a cookie sheet and bake in a preheated 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius oven for 18 to 20 minutes or until golden. These buttermilk biscuits are a real time saver because you can make them and have them baked and on the table in about 30 minutes. So if you need a quick and easy bread substitute, biscuits are the perfect solution. This biscuit recipe is great for using in place of pie crust for a biscuit topped pot pie, thick stews and chilies. You can use them with cobblers or a hearty dumpling soup. Serve them warm with a generous spread of butter. They're perfect served alongside your favorite meal or slice and layer with cream and fruit for a rustic strawberry shortcake. Enjoy! If you're a fan of deliciously simple vintage recipes and old-fashioned skills, then you'll want to check out this next video. Thanks for stopping by.